<laughs> but again, like, I could bring the chapter of the Bible and say that's more beautiful, like, you know? It, which, it also, you, which, you which have, chapter? Like, the, the, the pre any chapter, like, you know, the chapter... Na where, name where me, name me a chapter. Where, like, uh, the chapter in, where Jesus is risen from the dead, <laughs> where he defeats sin and death, probably that. Okay. But what, uh, for example, Mark, Mark, Matthew, Luke or John, one of the yeah, chapters. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Does Mark, Matthew, Luke or John even claim to be the word of God? What, what, why do you think it's as beautiful as Quran? So, so I think I think it, it's more beautiful because because I know I, well in the Quran I, I see it as like um, as having to work up, up to heaven through, like you know you have to pray five times a day you have to do all these works but in the Bible like like Christ gives freedom it, it says like you don't need to earn your way to heaven like I did it for you I came down and died for you and it, those who believe in Him will not perish but have eternal life like I know my sins are forgiven and I will go to heaven but because Jesus died for me and, and God did it for that's, me. That's a different subject but I'm asking. Yeah, Can you that, bring that's, something? That's the, yeah, that, that's that's the most beautiful part, you know. <laughs> and is it beautiful in language? Beautiful in eloquence? Like, do do, do you Again, know? That, that's like that's like I could say it. You know, it's subjective. Like, I don't know what you like. You know, I, I think it's beautiful, sure, but okay. Yeah, so I so, yeah, I, I bring look, that. Look, 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 it. look into this issue. Has yeah. anyone met this challenge? Okay. Again, I, I mean, yeah. I've just, I've just done it and, I, I, and, okay. and proven it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so read it to me what you think is as beautiful as Quran. Yeah. Um, like, um, okay. Uh, um, like, I'm trying to think I, I, of I, I, I'll, I'll yeah. tell you, I'll tell you the meaning of this chapter. In the Atayna Kal Kalsa, Fasallu Rabbika Wanha, In the Shani Akul Abata. This, what happened was. For the Quran, we know when each uh, chapter is revealed, what was the incident, what took place. And it wasn't written after. Like the, the New Testament was all written after Jesus. Okay. In that time, what happened was the, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be he had a son called Abraham, uh, Ibrahim. His son died. He was from the city of Mecca. The idol worshippers, they began to mock him. And they mentioned to him, that your, your religion, your way of life is going to be finished, is going to be cut off. Because the, as you can imagine, maybe we have it now, but you can imagine more in, in those times. Everything is carried through the line of your son, through the line of your son, through the yeah. line of your son. So the Prophet Muhammad Sallam, his two sons, they died before he died. He had daughters who also died early and young, but he, was, but he only had one daughter after him. So the, the, the idol worshippers, they began to mock him and they said, because your son has died, your way of life is going to be cut off. Abata, it's going to be cut off. So this verse came down saying, in the Atayna Kal Kawtha, verily we have given you Al Kawtha. Al Kawtha means the abundance of good, but also it's, it's a, if I'm not mistaken, a river in paradise. So pray to your Lord and sacrifice. One heart is when you sacrifice a camel. In the Shani Yakuhul Abata, those people who oppose you, they are the ones who are going to be cut off. So, without going into the Arabic, basically the eloquence of the Arabic language is, is very high. There's, there's uh, new words which are used in this, in this chapter, which are not used anywhere else in the Quran, etc. There's certain rules which are applied. But even the prophecy in it, the Prophet was in Mecca, they were being persecuted, they were weak at that time. Eventually they had to leave the city of Mecca. And they were told that your religion is going to be cut off. Allah, He made a promise that those people who oppose you, they will be cut off. Their way will be finished. Then, Who did He promise to? Allah made a promise to the Prophet Muhammad that those people, their way of life, everything about them will be finished and destroyed. So within maybe around 10 years, the whole Arabian Peninsula had come under Islam. Idol worship was completely finished. All those people were completely finished. So the chapter itself, it contains a prophecy, but also the eloquence of the meaning. And it's something which is true. It actually happened. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, I, I get that. I'll, I'll, I'll look into that. Look into it, it, look into it. Yeah, but again, like, is that the, is that the, one, is that the one miracle that, that an area around it was, was taken well, by Islam? Like, no, it seems pretty, no. you know, <laughs> inevitable. Why is it inevitable? How, how many, I mean, look, 
that I, I'm not to come to not the point a false prophet. You believe that the Prophet Muhammad was a false prophet. Yeah. Okay. He was a false prophet according to Christians and Jews. He insulted God. I'm not going to like. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, as in. No, I don't believe he. I don't know. Jesus. Happened. Jesus rejected the. Uh, sorry, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He rejected the Trinity. He rejected the divinity of Jesus. He d he rejected that Jesus died on the cross. But, but you, you said the divinity, but you said you do believe in his miracles. Yes. Like I believe in Moses, and I believe in Moses' miracles. It doesn't mean it doesn't make uh, the Moses divine. So, so Jesus was a prophet. Then, then what was his message? Like you know. His message was simple. Here, O Israel, your God is one God. Worship one God. The, the message is simple of all the messengers. Worship one but God. The, the Israelites were already already worshiping one God. Uh, they were uh, they were far from that. They, how much sins? How much transgression? If you read the Old Testament, how much their false worship, kill, uh, sacrificing their own children at the altars, yeah, of Baal in the, in the and Old like. Testament, but yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, even if Jesus, what, look at Jesus the way he talks about them, he calls them hypocrites, he yeah, calls okay, them vipers. Yeah, yeah. So he was sent to them. So he just said to worship one God, but they did know they, a lot, you know, majority, you know. Uh, but you have to, you have to implement it. This was the mess, but this was the message of all the messengers, and this was the message of Jesus. But back to the Prophet Muhammad, yeah. please, on him. He came and he said that the, the Bible is a corrupted book. It's been abrogated, okay? This is his claim. Yeah. He claimed to be the, to receive revelation from God. He claimed to be the last messenger. He claimed that all mankind had to follow him. Let, why, as a Christian, why would you believe that God would allow him to do this and not prevent him? So, so we believe, we believe that, yeah, that's a good question. So we believe it is a, it is a fallen world, and, and again, we believe Muhammad is a false prophet. He is trying to lead ah. people away from, from, from heaven. The Trinity, and, and, yeah. Yeah, no, so from, from God himself. And yeah, he, uh -huh. but the thing the is, only way to but the thing is, is through Jesus, okay. not, not through anything you can do on your so own. So if that's the case, yeah. if that's the case, why so, would... Why sorry, would... Ask, like, asking that question, I, I would compare to like, what, why is there murder? Like, it, it, it's, it, I, we don't believe it's of God, you know, these things like... Not is, there, is there any is there any doubt that murder is wrong? Sorry, yeah, no. Has 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 a, has a religion or a faith actually t taken on murder as a good deed? So so no, uh, in, yeah. Uh, no, but we're talking about a man mm. who who said all these things and then claimed to receive revelation, claimed to be a messenger, claimed to be the last messenger, claimed that all mankind has to follow him, that if anyone dies, a Jew or a Christian will enter the hellfire. And you're saying that God allowed... But, but you, let me no, finish. I'm let me... sorry, I've spoken to a lot of Muslims. Yeah. They, they believe Christians will go to heaven because we worship one God. No, no. No. No, I, I will show you clear verses in the Quran. But let me, let me just come but to no, the point. You just say that people who worship one God go to, go to heaven, right? If you accept all the messengers, including the last messenger. But what, where does it say that? I'll, I'll come to that. Yeah, yeah. I, I will come to that. But I just want to, at this point. Yeah. So this man is making this claim. And God is, and as you who, said, who are we talking about here? Sorry, the Prophet Muhammad yeah. is making all these claims. I'll list them very fr from them. Jesus is not God. God is not a Trinity. Okay, yeah. uh, Jesus didn't die on the cross. The Bible is corrupt. I received. I am the last messenger. All mankind has to follow me. Yeah. He said all these things, and his message is still on the earth. It's the most followed religion. It's not Christianity. It's no, no, we're not talking numbers. I'm talking followed, practiced. So, so, uh, so. Like, for example, how did Jesus pray? I don't, I don't, I don't. I, I, again, I, would, I, I, I don't think you can claim that because if there's more Christians, then obviously they'll practice it. Uh, okay, Christians by name, but for example, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Me, I will tell you how he walked, how he sat, how he ate. I will tell you. Uh, his full name. So, so do you want to live like how Muhammad did? Is that your... Yeah, because he's a messenger. You have to follow the messengers of your time. We know how he prayed. We know how he fasted. So, we so know you, how he performed pilgrimage. So you want to live exactly, exactly how Muhammad did? Is that, is that Muslim's goal? Like, is, yeah. Uh, to, to the best of our ability. We have to follow the messenger sent. So if we was in the time of Jesus, we would have to follow Jesus to the best of our ability. So, if we are in the time of yeah. Moses. No, but my no, question no, is so, to you. No, no, just quickly. Just, so, so was Muhammad perfect in your opinion then as a, as a messenger of God? Let me just, let me just, we've got a few side points, but I just want to make this, this point. After making this claim, 
the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he continued to live to the age of 63. He died as an old man. He died claiming that his religion is complete, and then he was buried. His his what mess. What was complete? Like just pre like what was, what was completed? If if you name if if you name any aspect of life of human life, in business, in marriage, in divorce, in looking after your parents, in uh, in war, anything, we will tell you what the Prophet Muhammad said and how it should be done. Again, like he, he said, you don't need to fast while I'm here, but you fast when I go, and okay. that's why we like. How, we how fast. do you fast? When do you fast? So we, we fast when we believe that God wants us to fast. Like we, so for example, I did a fast last week because my church felt. What that, time do you start and what time do you finish? So so again, we, we're not gonna. We, we don't, no, no, but I'm asking. Yeah, so sunrise to sunset. Okay, and did but we're not gonna finish did, it by the minute. Did Jesus not, tell you that? So we believe God led us to do this. No, fast, no, no, not yeah. led you. Yeah. Did Jesus teach you to do? Are, are you are you following Jesus? Again, Jesus said that, that when I go, yeah. Yeah, then you will fast. But, but, but like okay. you will fast. You don't need to fast while how Jesus do you, how is here. Do you he, how do you know He led you? Wa alaykum salam. You're okay, Akhi. Everyone good. Alhamdulillah. How do you know He led you to it? For, 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 for us, again, the, the Holy Spirit reveals it to you. Like we, okay. I'm not going to fast. Like uh -huh. for, like you wouldn't you wouldn't fast apart from Ramadan. And would you? what if a Catholic said that they were that, that the Holy Spirit revealed to them to set I, up I'm the not church? About, I'm not about no, I'm, I'm saying no, but I'm saying all of these well, they could, yeah, all, all, all of these claims you can't prove them. Yeah, the, you're, you're saying the Holy Spirit led you, but yeah. we are saying whatever we do in every aspect of our life. That's why we're saying it's complete. We have evidence from Quran and from the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad on how to do everything. Again, that's, that's why it's I'm complete. just reminded. Of, I'm just reminded of scripture actually right now. Yeah. But again, like I, your, uh, yours is yours is rules and regulations. You need to fast for Ramadan, but you won't fast any other time of the year. I fast all year round, but it'll be when no, God no, no, needs no, no, me no. to. No, 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 no. We can fast any time. But anyway, but Ramadan is compulsory. But my point is. And then after this, after he died, the, yeah. the whole Arabian Peninsula had come under Islam. Then his followers, they continued, they went to uh, Jordan, Palestine, Syria, all these areas, they took North Africa, then it spread down, uh, Asia, all of this came under the control of Islam. Okay. The Quran we have today is the same Quran at that time. We have the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad Islam preserved. I, and I did say the most followed. He's definitely the most followed person on no, the face honest, of the earth. Honestly, Christianity is a bigger religion than Islam. Not, not, but Jesus is not followed in Christianity. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, like that, okay. Christianity believes okay. in Christ. <laughs> when he prayed, what did he say? So he, he says yeah. the prayer, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. That's that, that's, that, that, that was his example of his prayer. But I, I don't need to, I can just speak to God now. I tell him about my day every, every day. Yeah, and I, yeah. No, no, but this is, this, is, this is from your own self, what you believe God wants. And you will say the Holy Spirit driven this. But you don't know how Jesus done it. Well, he, again, he gave us that example, and even even if he didn't, like uh, he didn't. That's that he didn't. He did. He gave the. Uh, this is how you're meant uh, to pray. There is scripture. Our Father. Yeah. You're meant to pray the Our Father. That that's okay. that's his example. Example of prayer. You don't have to follow it, but it's the example of like asking God to deliver you from evil and to thank you for giving you your daily bread. No, but do you you understand? I understand you believe in Jesus. Yeah. I understand you want to be a good person. You want to be the best person. You want to be a helpful person. Again, I understand that, but you are not following. Jesus. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Not, I, I, I want to live how Jesus did because he, he, he went out here but, to but you tell don't know, people but, about God's kingdom. But you don't know how he did. Like, yeah, you say. He's, you, again, it, it, yeah. he's told. Like, he, he went out, healed people, he prayed for people. He went uh, out, and that's why I'm out on the street talking to okay. homeless people about Jesus. Because okay. that's what he did. So, anyway. Yeah. We can continue this point, but I, I still want to make the same point. Why would God allow this to happen? Allow what to happen, sorry? The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu to say all these things, his message to spread, uh, defeat Christian armies, conquer Christian... You know, all of these countries like Jordan, Palestine, Syria, Egypt, they were all under Christian rule. They were all but even so, Christianity yeah. is still the bigger religion and, and more Muslims are turning to Christianity than like, I've only ever heard of Islam. I've never heard of it. Of it. I, I, don't, I don't know where... I don't, not to be disrespectful, when you say that more Christians are turning to... Uh, more Muslims are turning to okay. Christianity. Yeah. Me, I was I was born a Christian. I became Muslim. That's me. Sorry, uh, wait, Christian, uh, Catholic, Catholic, English, Church of England. Yeah. Uh, so this, even this if you go to the church, here, one, 
I, I would claim to be a Catholic so, for my whole life and lived a life of sin. So, and I, I claim to believe in Jesus, but, yeah. but actually was a living no, no, a life of I, sin. And so. we're standing here in Stratford. Me, I can... My friend there, Bilal... No, sorry, let me... There, these are all people who are Christian. They became Muslim. So, me, I... I, 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 don't, I don't believe that's true. What, you don't believe that I was Christian? I, I, I don't believe all of you were, because I've never... I've had a This one here, Bilal, I was there on the day he became Muslim. Uh, we can call him now. The, the thing is, when you, when someone says... But I know you can lie in your religion to better, better Islam, so I, I can't, can't really... Can't, yeah, I know. You, you have to be careful of just repeating things. No, I know, we, I, can, I know you can't. We, we, can, we can lie in a life and death situation. Someone who's placing a sword over our neck, at that time, we are allowed to lie. But we're not allowed to lie in everyday occasions. I've been, to, I've been told yeah. that. that yeah, you, you, you've been even, told. You've honestly, been told. every time I see some different Islam, I get a different response for uh, each question I ask. So okay. it, is, it is hard. I know you do know your scripture as well, which I, you know, I respect. But it's so. Why did you, why did you convert to from Christianity to, uh, to Islam? Um, I was 19 at the time. Basically, I was looking. Being an English person, the first thing I looked at was the Bible. I read it, I liked it, I liked the stories about Jesus. But it, I didn't find it pulled me. I looked at Judaism because I, I believed it had more structure, but it didn't pull me. And I, I continued like this for a while. Continued reading the Bible, looking at other religions. Then uh, I met a Muslim. He explained Islam to me for a few minutes. My, my, my opinion what he said, it made sense, it was Sorry, so simple. Have, have you ever asked God to, to reveal to you the, the truth? Because I have, and that's yeah, of when course. I, of course. I, I don't believe you have. See, the problem, the problem is, the problem is, when you base, usually when we talk to Christians, it usually boils back to, uh, I'm not saying this happened now, but it boils back to three things. They will say you need to have the Holy Spirit to understand. So we will, we will show them something which doesn't make sense, and the Christian will try to explain, this is, my, this is my opinion, you don't have to accept it. This is my observation. Christians get stuck and they will say, you can't understand because you don't have the Holy Spirit. But explain an instance, because uh, I like... Trinity. Yeah, so... Hypostatic yeah, union. So, so no, no Christian can explain it. So, okay, so... I, I, could, I could push you now, push you now, push you now, push you now, and you would have to say, God is a mystery. You'd have to say one of three. God is a mystery. You'd have to say, or you'd have to say, you'd only understand if you let the Holy Spirit into your life. Or lastly, you would have to say, I, I know my own personal experience. Th this is generally what Christians always go back to. The problem is personal experience. We can bring you Muslims, we can bring you Hindus, we can bring you Buddhists. I think I actually... Who, who all have personal that's experience. That's you should actually mention that, because yeah. I've just been at a conference and they actually just explained yeah, no, I that know. point I, to I, me. I, I saw, that. I met the lady, you know the lady from Manchester? West Indian lady. I think she's one of the organisers. The speaker now, Virginia. Yeah, her. Her voice. Yeah, yeah, I met her yeah. a while, yeah. Yeah, she was actually a Muslim. Okay. She converted to Christianity. Okay, but, you've got one. I've got three. <laughs> I'm, I'm not convinced these are all Christians, honestly. I'm going to have to speak to them, because I've, I've never really heard him of them. Uh, Ibrahim, yeah. Bilal, both of them. I'll speak to them. I, I know them, I know their children, I know their wives. Even Bilal, his wife was Sikh, she became a Muslim. Are you, are you looking at the anti-Muslim page? <laughs> I'm looking at the page for like answers to Islam. I speak to Muslim people all the time, but um, I, I, sometimes, I do often get different can I Can I show you where it says that uh, Christians will be in the hellfire? Yeah, yeah, please do. Okay. Chapter 5. Verse 72, verse 73. What, what does it say, sorry? Uh, it says, They have certainly disbelieved who say Allah is the Messiah, son of Mary. So those people who say that the Messiah, the son of Mary, is God, the Quran says they're disbelievers. Whilst the Messiah has said, O children of Israel, worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. For indeed, he who associates others with Allah, Allah has forbidden for him paradise and his, his refuge is, the, is fire and they are, they are not for them uh, and they are not for the wrongdoers any helpers so whether a person the other Muslims you met but the Quran is very clear whether you accept it or not is a different thing but Quran is very clear those people who say that Jesus the Messiah is God are disbelievers and they will not 
paradise is forbidden for them and they will end up in the hellfire. So, so, okay, so just to quickly about the Trinity, so it, it is explained, so so God says he created us in his image, and in, in that image we have, we have mind... The image like, of who? The Father, have, the Son, the, or the Holy the, Spirit? So, let me explain, so the, the yeah. Father created us in his image, and we've got body, which image? we've got soul, and we've got spirit. Which person? It, is it, which, the image of which person? Can is I, I'll explain to you, so, okay. so God, God said, yeah. that I'm going to make man into my image, so we've got body, soul, and spirit. Said. So, so yeah. body, soul, and spirit, and similarly, God, God in his image, God has soul himself body jesus christ and spirit holy spirit so it makes sense and again in the genesis you want to try, always just no disrespect do you want to try again that's not a good that's very problematic you, you know why Trini uh, the trinity you have seven things you believe in it okay but from them jesus is fully god the Father is fully God, yeah. and the Holy Spirit Again, is fully, one, fully, yeah. fully God. I know you believe it's one. Yeah. They're fully God. When you said the human being created in the image of, of God, and you mentioned uh, the soul, spirit, and spirit body, and body. Yeah. is my soul fully man, or, or is it part of man? So, so is it fully or part? Okay, so it's like it's like water. It's got three forms. Like water, it, it can be ice, it can be gas, and it can be liquid. All of the it's, it's, all, it's all the same. Particles, no, no, you know? we can come to the. That's another bad example. Yeah. That's another problem. But, but, but let's deal with this one first. Problems in the Quran, though. <laughs> no problem, no problem. <laughs> but you're you're saying the Trinity can be explained. The soul. I, I'm a human, okay. And obviously, as you said, I have a body. Yeah. I have a, a soul and a spirit. Yeah. Okay. Is my soul? I, I'm used to. Is my body fully me? Again, again. Is, it, fu is it fully me? No. It, yes, no yeah. It, it, you've got three. It's three forms no, that no, make up no, you. No. Just, like, just my. Yeah. It's like a. It's, like it's a three. Part. It's three things yeah, that make yeah, me up. Yeah. Okay. And if you take away one of them, am I fully human? If you take away the soul, am I fully human? It, like. Or am I dead? No. Like. No, look, the, the, the problem is, look. If if you said if you said that. I'm not saying you do. If you said that the Father is part of God, I know you don't. If you said the Father is part of God, if you said the Father, the Son is part of God, and the Holy Spirit is part of God, and all of these are one, are one, because they're all three parts and they make up God, then you can use the example of the body, the spirit, and the soul. But because the body is not fully me, it's part of me. Because the soul is not fully me. It's part of me. I need all three of them. You can't use the example of the Trinity. Ice. Can H2O, can it be ice, liquid and gas, the same H2O, the same molecules, all at the same time? I don't know. But, sorry, I, do, can, I, do actually, I think maths proves it as well, like one times one no. times one still equals one, one divided by one divided by one still equals one, one well, cube still equals one. That, so. proves, that, that doesn't prove the trinity. But it has, like that, one that times one times one is still one, that, so that, that, it's not one plus one, one is one times one, it's the same I thing. Know, so, I know, yeah. but that, that proves, not the trinity, that proves that God can be five, that can be seven, can be eight, can be ten, because one times one times one times one times one times one, times one, times one will always be one. But, but you understand that gas, the H2O can't be gas and water and liquid, uh, sorry, can't be liquid, uh, gas and ice at the same time. It has to change from one state to the other. That's not what you believe about the Trinity, is it? You don't believe that sometimes it's, it's the Father and then sometimes it becomes human. No, no, but you can, you can have all three existing at once. That's what I was trying to say. But like, you, but you all can't... the particles make up the same thing. It, it's my you, own, but like, probably people don't use that analogy. Yeah. It is what first comes to no, mind. But you're, but you're, you know? say, you're saying it's easy to explain. Let me ask you this. Yeah, well, well it's not, but it, again, I've proved that you can have three forms of the same thing. Not, so. the same, not the same thing can't be all three forms at the same time. It has to change from one form to the other to the other. So if you, if you apply that to the Trinity, you would have to say, sometimes God is the Father, and then sometimes he can change to the sun. No, no, I, I know you. I, he can have three, four. I don't okay. understand why this is so impossible for God that he could have a son who died and a spirit uh, who sends to his children. Like, like you know, he's God, so you know he made all these. No, things. no, but you like, you gave the example of a human, yeah. and I'm saying that doesn't work. Okay. You gave the example of no, ice. It, does work. it doesn't. It, work. It, it, they all work. 
work. Like, it, but you'll just say that. Like, you'll just say one. Pl- you know, you're you're putting it in. I, I don't understand how you put it. But if you think about it, it, it makes sense. He's God. He, he can do that. Like, he can do anything. Well, he can. Yeah, he, he made us. He made all of this world. So of course he can. Yeah. Okay. Can he stop existing? Sorry. Can he stop existing? Uh, no, no, he can't stop existing. But I thought you said God can do anything. No, he's eternal, so he just says he's eternal. Okay. So I assume that means he doesn't so stop look, existing. What you believe, what you want, to, what you so want to say. So you're saying God is limited. No, no, yeah. no. What you want to say is God can do anything as a God, but He's not going to do something which will diminish His godness, godliness. But uh, I don't, I don't understand how He does. He does. Like uh, Jesus is sat, he's at the same height as God. He was with God at the beginning when He made the world. He, he spoke to, you know, He spoke to Jesus. His spirit moved over the water. Like they all exist. Like you know, He. This was. No, no, no. But, but the point is, when you say God can do anything as God, what is befitting the majesty of God? It won't become less than God. Because when you said God can do anything, and I said to you, can God stop existing? No, because it wouldn't be God. Because God is eternal. Okay. So when you say that God died, this is not God. You can't you can't say that God can do anything and that God, no, God because, can die. Because like God was still, still sat in heaven when Jesus died. Like he can do that. Like you know he he can. So he was alive and dead at the same time. Like. Yeah. Well, he came according to you. Yeah. So so God was alive and dead at the same time. No, because he, he, his soul doesn't die. Like, like Jesus Christ didn't actually die. You know. But, he, but the but the word became flesh. Yeah, the word did become flesh. So the flesh well, died. Yeah. The flesh died, that's it, yeah. And the word was God. Yes. So God died. So again the flesh died, Not, but, but the, the soul doesn't we don't believe the soul dies. In, in Islam yeah, the, we don't believe the soul dies either. So But the soul is created. But and he, the soul has a beginning so, and it continues to the next life. Yeah. No but, but yeah, the, so, so his flesh was he was nailed to that cross but his soul so God no, like the soul so, doesn't perish. So what you, you know? what you believe that God was alive and dead at the same time? For the, again, at, that, at that instant. At that instant Again again death just means it just means death of, of the flesh. So yeah, Jesus Christ's flesh did die while God was alive. And in the heaven. flesh was, according to John It was it was was, it was Jesus it was Jesus Christ. The word became flesh. Yeah. And the word was with God, and the word what the word was God. Yeah, that's so, it, yeah. so even if you try to, if you even if you try to escape, your Bible is telling you that this flesh was God. So you just have to admit that you believe that God can die. But then you said, but he's still alive in heaven. Then I said to you, so what? God is alive and dead. Again, he has three forms. So his flesh is. It, it, there's three forms, and it, this, the, so the part, flesh of Jesus Christ so, was nailed to the cross. So one of the, the so one of the forms of God died. Was nailed to the cross, but again, soul doesn't die. So, so it still existed. He just but the flesh died. But the flesh days. died. Yes, yeah. And your and your book says that the word became flesh. Yeah, yeah. Again, yeah. Like it's, pretty, like it's explained. Yeah. 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 So the word became flesh. Yeah. So, so you believe that God died or, or Jesus died? Again, because he has three forms that that was possible. He could be seated in heaven and and have the, yeah, the that, body. That's that's. I I, re, I completely reject yeah. what you're saying, but I just want you to understand what you're saying is that God, one form of God was alive, and one form of God was dead at the same time. Again, the soul doesn't die, so it wasn't actually dead. It, it was the the body of Jesus was now to the cross, and it did. The, the, actually, Jesus Christ did descend into hell for three days to defeat sin, and then he was risen God, again. God to descended heaven. into hell for that, three that, days. We believe, to, in order you, to, you believe that God went to hell so, for three so days. We believe that Jesus had to do that. No, in God. Order for you us believe that God to, went to the hellfire for three again, days. Like yeah, yeah. God had to do that for us, so we could. And then he God rose again to, to do heaven. It. He had to do it. Yeah, so, so he had to do it, or he chose to do it. He had to do it, or he chose to do it. So he chose to. Yeah. But, but he so he didn't have much. to do it. No, but it, again, it, that's that's why grace, the grace and salvation, is so great. He chose to do that. He chose to. Do it. He, it, like God gave the he, world. His, God, his only God, sin God the chose. Life. God chose that one form of him would die, and God chose to go to the hellfire. He, again, he chose to do yeah. three days in order so we don't have to go there for eternity. Three days, so he died for three days. I mean, you again, can you can yeah. say he came back to life, but you have to admit that you believe that God died for three days. Again, so again, we don't believe the soul dies. So, so, so yeah. So, the, but the like, but the word but the word which was God became flesh. Yeah. And what you're saying, the flesh yeah. died. But, but, but you're saying that the, you're trying to say the soul dies, but we believe. Like, I never we, said. I never said that. I, I don't believe Jesus died on the cross. The Quran is very clear. 
They did not kill him. They did not crucify him. You're denying all the historians who, who, who know it down. Like you, you deny historical go, evidence. Go back to go back to the beginning of the conversation. None of these historians were eyewitnesses. All of, even these non-Christian. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into this. Look I'm into sure it. they did. They put, well, I mean, they like they were. No, no, no. Even these non-Christian witnesses or historians, they are reporting to you what people believed and what people said. None of them were eyewitnesses. Mark, Matthew, Luke and John and Paul, none of them were eyewitnesses. None of them claimed to be eyewitnesses. Again, you, that means you're denying the whole, like, if you use yeah. that argument, you can deny, like, 9-11, which was rested in by historians, you know? Like, like okay, not 9-11, because that was in our, in our time, but any any event, World War One, like, no one's going to be alive from World War One, but there was eyewitnesses, there was historians who noted it. You're just you're trusting the historians right now. No, 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 no. What it is, it's not I'm denying the historians. It's, we have a book. Yeah. We have a, a man came, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He claimed to be the messenger sent by Allah. He claimed to bring revelation from God, the Quran. We have that Quran with us. We have it memorized generation to generation, memorized from beginning to end, letter by letter, by hundreds of thousands of people. We have it preserved in manuscripts. Again, like, 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 like it's and, just passed, like, yeah, it is past mouth and to it, mouth, it, like, mouth, but, you know, but, like, but, but, <laughs> but witnesses, but witnesses, it was written down in the life of the Prophet Muhammad. It was practiced in the life of the Prophet well, Muhammad. I, I'm, I'm going to have to read into it because no I believe problem. Muhammad re re received, received revelation on his own. There was no encounters. No one, no one saw Muhammad speak to the angel and say this is from God. But, but why does that matter? But, because the, okay, the book yeah. of Revelation, who was a witness? When, when, when the angel came to Mary, and informed her that she was going to have a, a child. Who was a witness? Yes. So we can trust this because it, because it aligns with what's prophesied no, in the no. whole Old Testament. Okay. And then, and then it, it, no, let me explain. And then, yeah, and then who was a witness? Yeah, and then it's... Who was a witness? And then it's told who was a in, in the New Testament. So you don't have a witness. But again... But, but you don't have a witness. The miracles with Jesus aligns with the fact that he was born of a virgin no, but, because he's so pure. But, but even the... But it's going back to the same point. Even all of these miracles, it goes back to you trusting the Bible. It's not. It's not eyewitnesses. But there, there, there is, like you know, it, it not, like there was thousands. Where? Like at the end of the day, but, but who told you the? Who told you there was witnesses? It's the Bible itself. You understand the point. Like if I write a book, yeah, and in the book I say. But, but no, it's not just the, like historians noted it down in their own books. The historians who shouldn't even believe like a Jewish Messiah lived. They, they didn't. Still they didn't believe it. it. Those yeah. historians, Josephus, Tacitus, and stuff, they're reporting what people said. Yeah, so why would these thousand people lie? Like, you know, like <laughs> they're not going to say they like the the the, 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 the new te the old testament was fulfilled. Like why would they why would they do that? You know, thousand people. But why would? But then when you look at Muhammad, who received it on his own, who said, "I'm the Messiah." See, see the thing is, you, I I don't I don't I'm not sure if you're aware. But you're putting um, arguments or evidences which I'm showing you can't use in your own book either. You're saying that you can't. You, you doubt or you can't accept that Muhammad Sallallahu received revelation from an angel because there wasn't witnesses of the angel coming. And then I'm asking you, but how do you believe that angel came to, to Mary because there was no witnesses? And you, you fundamentally believe because the Bible told you. But, but in, in Muhammad's not, not life, it, it, yeah. was only, it was only he who testified to, it was only he who said, like in every instance, it, it was normally him on his own. But in Jesus' life, it was all his disciples who walked with him and then wrote it down and it was all the people who what, saw what, the historians, what, it was the I historical what proof I, that he died on what the cross. I witness, what I witness, what I witness wrote it down or reported to someone that Jesus died on the cross. Uh, like, the fact that he was killed by all these Romans, the Romans historians noted it down that Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews, did die on a cross. Again, like, yeah. those Roman historians, they wrote down what people believed happened. But, they, like, but those historians, were they eyewitnesses? They, what did, like, they could have been. Like, if, if all the Romans mm. see that this man who claims he was King of Jews was crucified, but then he was, like, you know... It, oh, sorry, the, the Ro did you say the Roman historians saw him? So, the, Roman, the Romans like made him get crucified. So yeah, they like. No, no, but I'm, I'm asking, I'm asking you, who was the eyewitness that wrote it down? Again, like, well, historians, like historians, they could have eyewitnessed it. You know, it's, it's like. Not to be rude. But, the historians but, who so, wrote, the historians yeah. who wrote it down. You're, so were you're they, denying historians. Were, were right there eyewitnesses? So everything that happened before our lifetimes, you're, you're saying that could have not happened because no, then historians no, who wrote no. it. No, as, as I've told yeah. you. I reject that Jesus died on the cross 
because the Quran was sent down saying that he didn't die on the cross. That's what that's why I reject it. 